everyone welcome back to my channel okay we're good lights camera action hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Silim oh hey I didn't see you there <laughs> Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a lab coat. Now if you're a science student or you've had anything to do with the lab, you would know that you have to wear a lab coat in the lab. And I'm a science student. I did microbiology for my first degree and biomedical science for my second degree. Um, so I've had a lot to do in the lab over the past couple of years and I still have to be in the lab. Yeah. So. I decided to make a lab coat for myself and I just thought to film it because creators film everything guys oh <laughs> yeah creators film everything and it's ridiculous but that's the life we're living we have to film otherwise there'll be no content for you guys to watch so it's all about you at the end of the day the method I'm going to show you to make this lab coat can also be used to make a shirt dress so the only difference between what I'm going to show you today and a shirt dress is the fabric. Now I'm using a plain white fabric for this lab coat because we all know that lab coats have to be white. So I'm using a white plain cotton fabric for this lab coat. But if you want to make a shirt dress using the same method I'm gonna show you in this video, then all you have to do is simply use a pattern fabric, maybe something that's not white. Or if you want a white shirt dress, go for it, right? But basically, the only difference is the fabric so you can use a patterned fabric maybe an Ankara fabric and you know you have yourself an amazing shirt dress to wear out so if you want to see how I make this lab coat slash shirt dress then keep on watching everything I'm going to be using for this video fabric sewing machine scissors chalk all of that will be linked in the description box down below also if you want to support my channel and support me you can buy me a coffee the link is also going to be in the description box down below let's get into the video guys now i'm using two and a half yards of fabric for this i divided that the fabric into two equal parts i'm using one part for my front piece and the other part for my back piece now i place the front bit on top of the back one i want the length of my lap coat to be 36 inches and that's what i marked and then i added extra one inch allowance now the first points i marked will serve as my zero line and that's where i'm measuring the rest of my measurements from i'm simply marking my bust points under bust and hip line measurements which are 10 inches 13 inches and 23 inches respectively i'm now extending those lines now if you notice my front piece is not placed equally with my back piece so i'm simply going to measure do all my measurements from the center back now i'm taking my bust measurement dividing back by four inches and then I'm adding two inches extra allowance. And I did that measurement on my bust point line. Now I'm taking my shape measurement, dividing that by four and um, adding two inches allowance. And I did that on my under bust line. Now my hip measurements, I'm taking that, dividing that by four and adding two inches allowance. And I did all of that on my hip line measurement. Once I've gotten that, I'm simply just drawing a line to connect all the points. Now from the zero line, I'm marking eight inches downwards, which is gonna serve as my armhole. And now I'm gonna mark my um, shoulder measurements. My shoulder is 15 inches divided by two, that's seven and a half, and then I added one inch allowance. I simply just drew a curve to connect the bust point line with the um, armhole line. And then I drew a curve to join that to the shoulder. And now I'm simply just cutting along those lines. Or cutting along that line rather having done that I'm simply opening the front or the center front of my front piece because it's a lab coat the front is open so that front has to be open that's why I'm cutting it open now I'm simply folding um, you know that um, center front so it's equal with the back now Remember I told you that my front piece was, you know, a bit longer than my back piece. 
Now for the depth, for the width of my neck rather, I'm taking two and a half inches and for the depth, I'm taking four and a half inches. Now this is my front piece that I'm marking this on. I'm simply drawing a slanted line and then a straight line to, you know, mark my neckline. Now for my sleeve, I'm taking seven inches for the round sleeve and one inch allowance and also five inches for the um, bottom part of the sleeve and one inch allowance. Now this is my collar. I simply folded the, this piece of fabric twice and then the length I'm marking is 11 inches when folded and 12 inches when folded as well. And I'm just drawing a slanted line and then I'm cutting that. This is going to serve as my collar that I'm going to attach to my lap coat. For my back piece, uh, the depth of my neck for my back is two and a half inches and the width of my back piece is three inches the width of the width of my back um you know neckline is three inches now taking the front piece i'm going to work with one piece at a time now this is one piece now you know how i folded the um folding the center front and ironed it i'm going to fold it the other way that's the reverse way and then i'm going to sew that fold down once i've done that i'm just gonna bring that you know pointed edge out to the other side so um that fold becomes the way it was when i ironed it so basically the fold is now how it was when i ironed it but it's now you know neater in a way that i've been able to sew that um edge so i've done the same thing with the other piece now for my back piece i'm just going to place that and then i'm taking one side of my front piece and i'm placing it right sides facing and then i'm just going to join the shoulder Once I've done that, I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm going to place um, the front piece and the back piece right sides facing and then I'm going to join them at the shoulder. Once I've done that, I'm taking one, one of my sleeves and I'm going to just um, join the sleeve right sides facing. Starting from that shoulder joining, I'm going to join the sleeve from that shoulder point to the end of one side and then from the shoulder point again to the end of the other side. So that's one side done i'm gonna also you know join the sleeve from the shoulder point again to the other side once that's done i'm going to repeat the same process for the other sleeve i'm also going to join it and now that's done as well now I'm simply going to hem the sleeve of my, I'm sim simply going to hem the sleeves. I've already woven um, the sleeves, that's the bottom part of the sleeves. And then I'm simply just folded it once and then hemmed it. And now I'm just folding, you know, my sleeve and then I'm just shaping the lap coat, starting from the sleeve all the way to the body. At the sleeve point, I left half inch allowance. But when I got to the rest of the body of the lab coat, I left one inch allowance. So I just repeated that for the other side as well. And this is what it looks like already. It already looks lovely. Now I'm just going to measure the rest of the neck, you know, just so that I know the accurate measurements of my collar or the accurate measurement my collar should be. Now since I've gotten that measurement, I'm simply going to simply going to check whether my collar um, is actually longer or shorter than that measurement. So I'm simply just marking the measurement that I marked or that I measured from the lab coat, and then I'm just, you know, cutting my collar to match that measurement. 
and then I'm still cutting it in a slanted um, way. Now I'm just folding it to the reverse side and then I'm just going to sew that together. And I'll do the same for the other side as well. Flip it to the reverse side and then sew it together. And I'm going to turn that out now, making sure that that pointed edge is, you know, all of that pointed edge is out. And that's what my collar looks like, basically. And now I'm just going to take my um, lap coat and take my collar and I'm simply going to join the collar to the lap coat all around. Just follow the way that it's already, you know, sewn. So that's what I'm doing. I'm simply sewing the collar all the way down. And once I'm done with that, I'm simply going to go and weave the whatever excess, um, you know, allowance I got. And then I'm going to place that allowance down and then I'm going to top stitch that allowance so it stays in place and it doesn't move around. And once that's done, I'm simply going to the bottom of my lab coat and simply hemming the bottom so that everything is nice and neat. Before I did this, I went ahead to weave any excess. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.